Peter Castleman. Welcome to the Velder Beebe Show live out of Dallas, Texas. How are you? Just great. Thanks for having me on. All right. You're the author of Eat to Think. I love that title. Let's talk. Let's get into it because, you know, people are still in that uh, resolution mode. They, they, some are trying to hang on to it. So how can an individual take better control of their cognitive health? Okay, well, hopefully it's a re uh, resolution for life. But basically, it, it's pretty simple. We, we, we are given coming to life with a beautiful brain. That brain is supposed to live forever. It's called uh, neuro, neuro regeneration. And, um, and yet, um, that is not what's happening because of our, mainly because of our diet. We've gone from a nutrient-dense diet to a, a diet full of grains, um, high, high processed food, a lot of artificial ingredients. And we don't realize it, but it's just killing our brains. And the consequence is we have out of control cognition decline. One in three seniors die with some form of dementia. And we wrote this book for one reason. We do not accept that. That does not have to be our fate. We control 97% of our brain's health, and we can do something about it. Let's, let's tell my audience once again, what is a nutrient-dense diet? I want them to be aware. Okay, nu nu nutrient-dense. So, so nutrients are nature's gift to humans. It's a gift of life. When, when scientists go looking for uh, life beyond Earth. They're not looking for little ETs running around. They're looking for nutrients that exist. So nutrients, are we get them through our food. And uh, it's pretty simple. There are 40 essential nutrients. Essential means we have to have them every day. And there, um, uh, there's, there's nine amino acids. There's 14 vitamins, 14 minerals, uh, omega-3 and fiber and and we have to have that. We have to have that in our diet. And we've lost that. We've lost that nutrient-dense diet. Um, it's actually what has, has separated us from other uh, animals on Earth is our, our diet that has allowed our brain to grow four times the size of, of primates. And it's really important. And we have to get that back in our diet. Well, my audience didn't know that Peter M. Castleman, he's chairman of Nutrient Survival. He's chairman of Wise Co. He's chairman of Nutrient Institute. So he comes well qualified to talk about this. Peter, what nutrients are critical for brain nourishment? So in our book, Eat to Think, what we've done is try to collect all this confusing, complex information and put it in a simple source that... Um, you know, everyone can, can understand it. If I can understand it, everyone can understand it. So, uh, and we have in here, um, uh, you know, there, there's about 55 nutrients that your brain absolutely loves. Probably the most important one is omega-3. We actually have created a omega-3 bar. Um, that's, is this teeny little bar that, um, that I'm holding in my hand is, is the equivalent of eating a filet of salmon. But it also has all 40 essential nutrients. It has polyphenols. It has all these things that your brain loves. And those are the things that we're trying to encourage people to do. Now, very important, this is not a don't do. You know, life is to be loved. Food is to be loved. And what we're trying to do is get people to love their food, uh, but while protecting and strengthening their brain health. And that's really important. This is not a you can't do. This is a can-do uh, activity. So Castleman, he's the author of Eat to Think. You want to get a copy of the book, and I'll tell you how in a minute. Peter, for individuals barking, embarking on a journey to better brain health, those who want to detour, who don't want to uh, have any kind of interactions with Alzheimer's and dementia, what are you recommending they do along the way? I recommend get a copy of your book to start off. But what do you recommend? <laughs> well, you're very, you're, very, you're very kind to say that. Uh, in our book, we have something called the Six Pillars of Brilliance. And to me, this was doing all this research. This is my revelation. It's it's uh, six things that if we if you can bring into your life, and you bring into them 
every day the best you can. Um, and they're simple things. It's nutrition. It's nutrient-dense diet. It's physical exercise. You don't have to go to the gym and throw your body around. You can walk out to your mailbox and back. It's mental exercise. It's sleep. It's reduced stress, and it's love in your life. You bring those six things into your life and you do it as much as you can daily. Ideally, start it when you're, you're a kid and, and live that the entire life. Good things will happen. And I don't think you're going to lose your, your cognition. It's, it's the really powerful forces um, that, that elevate the power of what our, our brain is all about and our body's all about. Tell me about the uh, the brain omega three bars. I want to hear a little bit more about that. Well, you start with they're just killer tasting. Okay, I mean if you're a chocolate, there's deep dark, dark, uh, deep dark chocolate figs, cranberries, rolled uh, oats, and they're just they're just really good. Uh, but most importantly is is what it has in it, and it is just full of everything you need. Uh, starting with the omega threes, forty essential nutrients, polyphenols, which is what uh, protects plants from ho- hostile environment. It also protects the brain. Fiber, vi- vitamins and minerals, all these antioxidants that are just so powerful. And most importantly, it has nothing artificial. And 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 we've creeped into our food source, this artificial ingredients that can do a lot of damage. And so, you know, what we're trying to do is get this so people reach for something like this. I could care less whether you, you know, you eat our bars or not. This is just a powerful one. There's nothing like it out there. But but instead of reaching for that candy bar or some other bar that doesn't have the, the nutrient density, this is the start of the journey to change your life and change your cognition. Peter, I'm so glad you came to the Valder Beebe Show. And I don't know if your uh, team told you, my audience is made of people born between 1946 and 1964. They're known as baby boomers. This is so important information for them. They need to get a copy of your book. How do they get a copy of your book? Well, so you know it. I'm 1956. I'm right in your demographics. Um, and so I, I live this, okay? Um, the, the book is called Eat to Think. You go to eattothink.com and you can get a free download. We're actually, we'll send you some of our food if you're interested for free and you can get started. Uh, if you buy the book uh, uh, from Amazon or something, 100% of our proceeds go to charities. We're not going to make any money from this. This is a this is an act of love in terms of what we think is one of the most critical health issues that we face in our country, particularly your your demos, um, me, my me, you know, the baby boomers, and it's something that's critical. And we 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 sh- our our mind and body should go out at the same time. It's so exciting to me. I've got to finish reading the book, but I'd love for you to come back and talk to my audience because they're lighting up my social media. We just don't have time. I've got to let you go, Peter, but I want to thank you so very much for stopping by the Valder BB Show and talking to my audience and giving them a little boost in, you know, being a better person. Well, thank you, and thanks for addressing such an important topic. It's really, really great. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.